Hey, it's Matt Casamassina. I'm Editor-in-Chief of IGN We, and I'm here with Perrin Kaplan, Vice President of Corporate Affairs and Marketing Marketing and everything else. See, I knew I was going to blow it. Anyway. It, hey, it works. We're here with Perrin. We're going to talk to her. So we're going to talk Matt. about our good friend, We. But first I have to say, hi, Zoe. Matt's cute little baby. Thanks, Perrin. By the way, Perrin, do you hate me? Because some readers actually believe that you do. No, I want you all to know I love Matt. Sometimes I even call him Matty. See, it's proof. All right, okay, let's get to the questions. Okay. Uh, so you came out and you guys talked about Wii, um, but Sony came out and actually talked about PS3 and gave us a price, an astronomical price. What do you think about that price, by the way? Well, I think it's a lot of money. And are you asking me what our price is? Yeah, I'm asking you what your price is. So what I can tell you is that Nintendo, as always in history, has been a mass consumer product company. We work very hard to get the pricing and components down to produce products um, and give pricing that makes it affordable for pretty much all consumers, and that will be our goal with the Wii console. Great. So $199? You know, you can uh, have whatever conjecture works for you. It's so fun doing this interview down on the floor. We're seeing like all these people walk around. It's really great. It is nice. George Clooney right there. Yes, George Clooney's here at the Nintendo booth. So, okay then, $199 confirmed from Perrin. Thanks, Perrin. No, no, no. $199 confirmed, $199 confirmed by Maddie. All right, so it's going to be cheaper, in other words. And how uh, can we expect it to be? I think you guys said in the past at least under 300. You know, I'm not going to peg a number because I just I just can't do that or I wouldn't sleep tonight. But the bottom line is mass consumer pricing. It will be a price. Let me just say the Wii console will be a price that you will all really like, and it will cause you to line up to want to buy it. Okay, fair enough. Why didn't you guys announce the price, considering that Sony did? Well, I don't know that we're a follower, are we? Well, um, clearly not. Yeah, clearly we're not. You know, Nintendo tends to keep a lot of information close to the chest, and we sort of chose at E3 to pick a few really good, right pieces of information that we thought, frankly, would be more valuable for the, for the real hardcore gamer and the people that hang out on your site. And I think talking about the Wii Connect 24, the ways that you can receive data overnight while you're snoozing, um, a variety of the different games, letting you guys have the hands-on experience was, frankly, more important than naming a price, because the price is going to come. Okay, and why not uh, announce a release date, though? Well, we said Q4 2006. Yeah, but that's we've got firm dates from everybody else. That's fairly precise for Nintendo at this juncture. You're not going to get more precise than that, huh? No, but we'll let people know soon. Trust me, they'll be playing it for a holiday. Okay, great. So, next question. Uh, is uh, what... I'm looking at my notes here, and I can't even yeah. read my own writing, so I'm just uh, going to have to excuse me. The name? Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh. So, what, how was your reception today? What did you think about the fans' reception? Well, I just have to point out something else about Maddie, who I do love, uh, is that at our press briefing where we had attendance of about 3,000 people, that Reggie fils our executive vice president, did uh, appreciate and say thank you to the two people that had supported the name, uh, Matt sort of being one. Didn't really support the name, but was kind of defending us and saying it really doesn't matter what the name is. Um, the yes, name? I do love the name. Actually, I don't love it, but I do think it's you okay. You embraced it. Yeah, it's cool. So we thanked you. Uh, the name, actually, I think visually looks pretty cool. I think the two eyes are really great in terms of what they represent. People, humans with heads, and the controllers, and we being an inclusive word around the world, I think is really important statement for us. So I think it's less about what the word itself says and more about what it means. I mean, after all, being Googled, everybody knows what that is now. Yeah, so you think people are getting over it? They're kind of coming to accept it? I think the fact that you want to talk about it, you're the last person who hasn't come full circle and everybody else has brought it to closure. Well, you know, I do linger. That's what I do. All right, so we're moving on to the next question, which is more hardware yes. surprises. Are we going to see more hardware yes. surprises? Are you hiding stuff? Yes. Still next hiding question. stuff? Next question is why. Wait, wait, wait. Let's continue on that one. Hold on now. Why, uh, why are we still not uh, seeing all the hardware I features? Like question number five. We're not going to question five yet. We, we have shared what we think is the most exciting stuff for this show. And um, for hardcore gamers, just pay close attention to us. And we're going to work, work, work really hard also to bring the system into markets for people that have a lot of hands-on between now and launch. So people will get a chance to feel the hardware for themselves and the remote controller and see how that feels. And then we'll dole out a little bit more information. Interesting. So are we going to see kiosks set up then around uh, retailers? We actually haven't decided exactly how we're going to be showing off this product at retail. It's something that they're taking a look at. Um, but what we are going to do is try to find a lot of additional ways to show it off for people to try it out. Okay. 
So let's go. Let's ask the next. Actually, I'll let you ask the next question to yourself. Go right ahead. Okay. Question number five. Why not unveil Smash at your briefing? Let me just say that as one of the VIP attendees at our developers roundtable, aren't you glad we saved it for you? I thought it was very nice. I, I was blown away. Everyone in attendance was blown away. But again, you know, it would have been something that would really would I think ensured that people, when they look back, said Nintendo won the press conferences. You had the best best, best press conference. I think we had a pretty darn good press conference. I, I like that we keep it a lot shorter than the others. I think ours is more colorful. Smash is a game that we know the hardcore player loves. And if there's anything we could do, and this was really also a decision all the way up to Mr. Iwata, and saying, let's save that piece for them. Let's save it for the people that we know are just going to fall over with happiness. Because it's a great game. It looks good, doesn't it? It looks fantastic. It really does. So Snake's been announced. How about more characters? Can we expect them? Boy, that I can't actually answer by the fact that you're not answering it? Can I uh, assume that means yes? No, because I can tell you that on that one, I actually don't know. Dang it. I was hoping for more I there. I usually know everything, but on that, I can tell you I don't know. OK, now I have a selfish question. This okay. has nothing to do with readers, and I'm very sorry for that. But uh, really, oh. please tell me, when are we going to get our debug units? Uh, I can tell you that we'll try. Not anytime really soon, but we'll try. We'll, we'll try? We're going to work our hardest because you're important to us. OK, thank you. That's fair enough. I'm hoping, please, please at least tell me we're going to get them a, a month or two before uh, the system debuts. You might get it a month or two after. Ah, seriously. All right, what do we got next? Yes. That's the goal is a worldwide launch. The goal is a worldwide launch. And so that means Japan, Europe, and America. Don't forget Australia. And Australia. Don't and forget the Americas. That would be North America. And then you've got Mexico. and. The Americas. Okay, that great. That is certainly the goal. Okay, and that's in October, right? So you say. <laughs> what do we have next? We've got. I can't read my own writing, Perrin. Can, Can we, we succeed with the less powerful graphics? Well, let me just tell you that the line that is snaking around this booth is unprecedented. I think your answer is right there. All right, fair enough. How about the uh, controllers we're seeing? Um, Everywhere I look, there's a new peripheral for this console. You've got a light gun. You've got a classic style controller. How do you plan to market these? Do you plan to market them? Uh, we're actually putting together all of our marketing plans now. And the Zapper has gotten a lot of good attention here at the show. People yeah. kind of think it's cool. What did you think? I like it a lot. I think it's really cool. Yeah. I think that um, our, our focus on lots of different ways to play is, is going to remain a priority. Have you guys decided on um, the packaging for the system, the packaging for the games? Are they going to look like DVD discs? We actually haven't decided yet. Nintendo tends to do things kind of, we sort of bake the cake right before it's going to be served. So what I can tell people is there's a lot, a lot more to come and we have not, you know, we've begun everything, we have not finalized anything. Okay. Uh, Which means it's another interview that's kind of a Jedi situation. Well, it's to be expected. And now let's talk about the virtual console for a little bit. You guys didn't really talk about it at your press conference. Why not? We're uh, in the stages of finalizing exactly what the structure and business model for that's going to be. Uh, and then we'll be able to share that pretty soon. I think it's a component of our system that absolutely rocks. It's the icing with the cherry on top, whipped cream, nuts, little hot sauce, hot chocolate sauce, not hot sauce. That would be really not very tasty. Um, so people can look for a lot more information on that. I'm assuming that you spent a little time with it on the show floor. It's, I did. It's, it's a big feature. It's something we're excited about. OK, coming back to the controller setups, uh, when the system launches, I think you've said in the past that you're going to have the nunchuck and the, uh, we're calling it the Wiimote nowadays. I, know, um, I heard. Yeah, together. I heard, and we had an analyst briefing today, and we repeated what you call it. Nice. So we've coined the official new name. That's pretty yeah, good. You're actually impacting our marketing. This well, is awesome. we do what we can. So anyway, let's go back. Uh, in the box, probably going to see the nunchuck and the uh, Wiimote, but what about the, the classic controller and the, the light zapper gun? Are these going to be something sold separately? We have not made a final decision yet. I think that they will probably be sold separately in that the nunchuck and the, and the Wiimote will be part of the pack-in. Okay, and how about this? Let's say you buy a system and you, uh, you want to go out and you want to play a drum game, which requires two Wiimotes. Can you then, will you be able to go to a retailer and purchase a new Wiimote separately from the nunchuck unit, or will they come as a standard package? You know, no one has actually asked me that yet. And I don't honestly know the answer. I would, I would say that that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, I, I think about this at night. So that's why I don't sleep. I'm going to pass this on. Oh, well, good. Excellent. 
Uh, I don't know that we have any more. I want to uh, just get you to close with some final comments about what you think about E3. What do you think about your competitors? And what do you think uh, about the future of Nintendo here? I think that our competitors, um, I have lots of great friends at both those companies. I love them. They're wonderful people. Um, everybody comes into this with a great spirit of competition. It's kind of break a leg. and. Um, but I, what I love most is that Nintendo is going its own again and disrupting and turning the apple cart upside down and doing something unique and different and innovative. And it just feels really great because it's a heck of a lot of fun. Great. And, Can uh, you tell it's fun? I'm not even smiling. Really, it is fun. I'm just really it tired. Is, it is quite fun. It is. It's great. It's been a, a fantastic show. Were you guys also uh, having fun when uh, Sony copied your controller? I had to ask. Yes. We, um, we thought it was the sincerest form of flattery. It was, and they were a little smarmy about it. I'll say it so you don't have to. Let me just say that we've been cooking ours for a long time, and I think it works really well. All right, fair enough. All right, Perrin, thanks very much for sitting down with me on the floor, and uh, we'll see you again soon.